the Park Hill Stakes is next. This was formerly referred to as the Phillies at Leisure. It was only up to three odds in those days, but it's home to all the horses now, but only Phillies. And at the top, we've got El Paso Thistle for Vinnie Gerard. Pick a mix, Joshua Sutherland, Shimra Camellia, Dan Hughes, Highlighted Eyes, Darren Thompson, and Moulin Soprano for Leon Van Rensburg. So five of them then in this. And away they go. And looks like pick and mix. Might be the one who's going to go on. But over on the rail, Moon and Soprano has got that rail to guide in between the two of them. The first of the Greys, El Paso Thistle. The second Greys, Shimna Camellia. And highlighted eyes is just about marker. So a field of five then. All trainers just single handed. So all five of them will take some prize money away from this one. Looks like Vinnie Gerard might be on course for the flat title. Well, I think it's fair to say that if John Morgan had a full stable all season and entered all his horses every week, he'd be miles in front. Well, it's pick and mix in the lead. Uh, highlighted eyes in second. And Shimna Camellia is third. With El Paso Thistle fourth. And Moulin Soprano is the back marker. So pick and mix bowling along then for Joshua Sutherland, who's probably far more focused on the other code this week. The champion trainer elect. On the National Hunt side of things, the biggest week of the season. Over on the jump side. The Chilton Festival. They're taking up pretty much all of the races this week. Not two hunters thrown in and then a couple of long distance races and qualifiers later on in the week. Most eyes will be on the jumping. Sure, Joshua Sutherland's eyes will be more on the jumping than the flat, but at the moment, we'll be pretty happy to see pick and mix four or five lengths clear. Of course, of these trends, Dan Hughes and Vinnie Gerard are probably saying, Stop talking about chip, it's got nothing to do with this. He's only trained flat horses. But it's pick and mix in front. It's a pretty big week on the flat, really, as well. You think about it, this is a legend we've just had, and well, the Arc of Triumph to come later in the week as well. We have a champion stakes in Ireland as well. So it's pick and mix in front then from Highlighted Eyes in second in Shimna Camellia with Moulin Soprano and El Paso Thistle at the back. And past the four furlong pole, pick and mix is too clear of Highlighted Eyes. Moulin Soprano though is now really beginning to motor on the outside and is coming through to challenge for the lead. The two greys caught a little bit flat footed at the back. And now Moulin Soprano comes through to challenge Pick and Mix and take it up. Moulin Soprano in the blue jacket from Pick and Mix in the red and black. These two are clear, although Shimna Camellia is starting to run on. So to his El Paso Thistle. Highlight Eyes looks beaten. They're coming down to the furlong and a half point. Then a Moulin Soprano suddenly gone too clear. Pick and Mix is starting to tread water. And it looks like Moulin Soprano is going to pull away and take this one pretty comfortable. There's still a furlong to go. And we know how quickly some of these horses can stop. But Moulin Soprano doesn't look like he's going to stop at the minute. El Paso so Thistle is finishing well, and now a second win for Pick and Mix, but Moulin Soprano is clear enough and he's going to take it comfortably. Pick and Mix is second, El Paso Thistle third, then Shumna Camellia, and Highlighted Eyes at the rear. So, a win for Leon Van Rensburg, and the two trainers who will be concentrating mostly on the jumps this week. No one and two in a group two on the flat. So Moulin Soprano for Leon Van Rensburg, the winner. Pick a mix, Joshua Sutherland second. El Paso Thistle for Vinny Gerard third. Shimra Camellia for Dan Hughes was fourth. And Highlighted Eyes for Darren Thompson was fifth.